The fight against the coronavirus has an unusual ally, horseshoe crabs. The animals are helping researchers develop a vaccine against the virus. And Jess Clark shows us how this all might work. They've been around for, what, 450 million years or something like that. Horseshoe crabs and COVID-19. How are the two connected? Well, that's a good question. Dr. Mark Martindale runs the UF Whitney Marine Lab in Marineland. He can explain. All substances that enter or make contact with human blood have to be tested by the FDA to make sure that they're not bringing any kinds of contaminants into the human body. That's where the horseshoe crab comes in. Specifically, it's blood. Their blood is blue. In pharmaceutical labs around the world, that blue blood is extracted from the horseshoe crabs. Certain parts of the animal's blood can actually detect if there are toxins that can harm humans. So all kinds of medical treatments are tested with compounds from horseshoe crab blood. This happens every single day for every single blood transfusion, for every single vaccine that we get. If it passes the test and it's allowed, the FDA approves it for use in human uh, subjects. Here's where the coronavirus comes in. In. Horseshoe crab blood is being used to test the safety of potential COVID-19 vaccines. So before any coronavirus vaccine would be uh, FDA approved for clinical use in human beings, it would have to be tested with this horseshoe crab test to make sure that it was safe to inject into the human body. Martindale says a half million horseshoe crabs are collected every year for their blood. Some of that blood is removed and then the animals are returned to the wild, but not all of them survive. It's a little bit of a worry because the horseshoe crab populations are, have been declining over the decades. Projects are underway to synthetically generate the same kind of compounds that these prehistoric looking creatures figured out how to make millions of years ago. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.